everyone and welcome back to the Siri Pixel Biology channel update vlogs and it's been a little while since we've had one of these and I'm really sorry about that you guys. We had Oh my gosh, the most amazing Thanksgiving break ever. It was fantastic. We went down to North Carolina and we spent the time with Chips's family. Chips is my beloved boyfriend, best friend, companion through life, in case you guys don't know about him, which by now I really hope you do because I talk about that amazing person quite often. But we went down to North Carolina, had a great time. We hit 100,000 subscribers on our channel the day after Thanksgiving and celebrated quietly, just he and I together amid all of the other family celebrations going on and I'm still blown out of the water about that and this is not the 100,000 of a date vlog uh, celebration. I'm still collecting questions and I'm gonna go through and make a big like Q&A vlog where we're gonna have our like sophomore class Q&A vlog for all the incoming pixel biologists and then our advanced pixel biology class where I will answer some of the more like in-depth and behind the scenes questions for those of you who have been around a while and yes you do know who Chips is. You may even know the species of those birds in the background, or potentially even the mystery of my real name, which most of you guys who've been paying attention know by now, and I don't really mind. Uh, but yes, so this is not that 100,000 celebration update vlog. It's just the fact that I was kicking myself because I really miss doing our weekly update vlogs and touching base and being able to be like, guys, hi, how are you? What's going on in your life? Here's my plans. Here's what we're doing. And I realized I really missed that. I really miss just talking to you guys. And I really miss our vlogs too because we've done amazing things like the traveling that we did we found some delicious hummus in the airport and I didn't share it with you guys because I didn't take my camera out and it's really funny because once you get into the habit of vlogging things you realize if you enjoy doing it like I do that suddenly everything becomes more you want to share more with people and not in like a frantic way just you can experience all of the little things in life a little bit more because you get to share them with everybody so I'm gonna to try to start getting into vlogging again because we traveled we went and we got our Christmas tree we are enjoying the first proper snow here in uh, our new home in Michigan and this is pretty amazing it is still falling down I was trying to get the camera all set up so that you guys could see the snow but it just makes it like a glowing white mist behind me so all of this this stunning sunlight pouring into my office right now is actually the result of it being very very snowy outside so I'll hopefully I'll have a little bit of the snow at the beginning of the video so that you guys can see how pretty it is it's gorgeous but enough of that rambling even though these episodes are all about rambling and I'm going to be totally unapologetic about that but uh, yeah so this is not the 100,000 celebration just yet I got really sick from our trip I picked up a cold from who knows where we were in a big international airport in Detroit so it could have been from anywhere in the world and it just made me so sick for a whole week and I didn't want to try to put together an update vlog when it would have been like <laughs> All right, and this person asks this question, what's my favorite episode of Zoo Crafting? <laughs> and then I just fall over like dead. I didn't want you guys to have to worry about that, and I didn't really want to make such an important video when I was not feeling well. So I'm still working on making that video. Um, in fact, I haven't quite started yet because I've been so busy trying to get caught up on all of our series and launching some of the new series that I promised for December. And I'm still behind on WolfQuest, I know! Siri, where is WolfQuest? The December episodes of WolfQuest, I'm thinking about starting tonight and just trying to jump on top of them. Uh, and I'll ramble about this more in my vlogs probably, but you guys, man, it's so hard to be me sometimes because I tend to just sit there and plan and go, okay, we gotta make this perfect before we can move, alright, nope. No, I don't know if I've covered all my bases. Have I thought about this hard enough? I need to sit and think about it for another day. So it's not like passive procrastination because I mean to do it and I'm thinking really hard about doing it and I'm coming up with all these plans but then I never do anything. <laughs> so it's like really active really exhausting procrastination and that's why I'm making this vlog because I was like you know what Siri you've been sitting there going I would love to do update vlogs again but they have to be perfect and then I don't do anything so here we are and hopefully I'll be able to jump on top of things with Wolf Quest and with um I think we've got the unicorn challenge up and going there's a couple other series I need to catch up on too but we are frantically churning things out right now and just going on so many adventures that I didn't expect like ultimate bird um, that's the most popular thing we've had in almost ever right now, like 26, 36,000 views on a few of those videos. What? 
<laughs> I mean, I love the gluten-free games, don't get me wrong. They're a wonderful medium for being able to teach you guys some real-life animal facts and for being able just to build some freeform stories. But what? <laughs> I spend how many hours on Warrior Cats, and it, like, I'm grateful for everything in Warrior Cats, but then it's just the mysteries of YouTube and, and people's attention spans and who knows what else and who am I to question it. And that's one of the things to lead to success that I've learned in doing this is you don't question why things have turned out the way they do. You just celebrate it and you just nurture your community and try to teach them some stuff about animals however you can. So that's my little bit of Siri advice. But yes, so that's kind of where I'm at right now. Recovering from my cold, constantly battling the fight with my perfectionism, and it's it's like if perfectionism and procrastination could have a baby, that's like my constant mental state, uh, where you're like, it's got to be perfect, so I'm just going to sit and wait until it is. And then thankfully, Chips is much more proactive. Uh, he's actually the biggest procrastinator I've ever known. I'm pretty sure he has like don't tell him I said this, but like four or five really big papers for his PhD program due tomorrow. And I'm 98% certain he hasn't started it, but he's one of those people, like when we were together a couple of years ago, I think he wrote his entire master's thesis in three days. He just disappeared into the office for three days. And I don't even know if he got food or sustenance during that time. And it ended up being like award-winning, but I'm pretty sure he wrote it in three days instead of the two years that he was alive. <laughs> So I don't know, what works for him works for him, but then there's me who likes to plan and plot and put things together to try to make you guys happy and come up with fun adventures to have on our channel, and sometimes I just drag my feet too much. So I'm sorry about that. This is a fast-paced world and I've got to keep moving. So I'm trying to balance that, but anyway, that's kind of where I'm at. I'm getting over my cold still. It was a doozy, and because I have that horrible compromised immune system that a lot of you guys know about, when I get sick, it takes me a long time to get better. It does doesn't just happen immediately. It usually, like a simple cold that a lot of people might brush off mm, two, three days, uh, it will probably take me about a week and a half to really start building my energy back up and really recover from it. But thankfully, I'm to that point now. And I have a lot of wonderful tea to help me along. A lot of you guys have been saying, Siri, just buy your Celestial Seasonings Peach Tea, which is not the sponsored thing. It's just my favorite tea in the whole world. Um, on Amazon, why are you dragging your feet? And I was like, oh, but guys, it's 20 cents more expensive on Amazon than it is from Kroger. And then in the end, Kroger stopped carrying any of the peach tea. So guess what this is? This is peach tea. <laughs> this is peach tea that I ordered. So yeah, I've got plenty of tea to help me through the, the little last bit of my cold. Um, but that's why videos have been kind of just all over the place. I would get this burst of energy, sit down and record a ton of like niche or a ton of bird simulator. And then I would just feel like so sick and pass out for the rest of the day and be like, but no, no, I was supposed to do wolf quest. Where's Sims? Where's Sims? No, zoo crafting. And they just slip out of my fingers because I wasn't feeling good enough to get to them. But I'm building back up and we'll just have to see how it goes. And I just wanted to make this update vlog to let you guys know kind of the state of Siri, where she's at, what she's doing. Um, and I'm really, really, really excited to make that 100,000. I'm really excited to go through. And if you guys haven't had a chance to ask a question in the last community update, update vlog. You can check like in the community update vlog playlist. I'm pretty sure there's a link in the video description. You can see what's going on in there so that you can ask a question if you have one. It can be, try it, like we're talking about the, the questions you can ask all the time in these community update vlogs are the things that I see endlessly on all of our videos like Siri, where is this? Siri, could you play a Basarium? Siri, could you play this? Um, Siri, could you bring back this series? So if you guys would like to, you can ask those questions here. That's what this vlog is made for so that when I have some free time okay I heard something like I'm a little voice in the back of my head just cackled crazily at the idea of having free time <laughs> Uh, okay, so when I decide to add even more to the the almost what do you call that that game? It's not Tetris. It's uh, the little the little game where you stack things and then you pull the things out and then you stack them on top to make them go higher. That game that's kind of like what my life is like. Whenever I want to add another block to the little pile to see if it falls over or not, I check these vlogs to see maybe trying something new. And trying something new has actually really been helpful lately. I noticed that everybody seems to be really happy. Sorry guys, 
I'm, I was, I'm trying to say everybody's really happy. They get really nervous if I make sudden movements unexpectedly sometimes. But uh, everybody seemed to be really happy when we were rotating through a whole bunch of different types of games in October and in November. So I'm thinking we might kind of bring in um, maybe like one or two days a week. I know a lot of people do that where you'll be like, let's play random things. And it can be really fun. You can just do flash games, app games, maybe try something more serious that ends up becoming a series. So I'm getting better at holding my ground when everybody goes more, 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 more for a series. So I think I can risk doing that. So suddenly I'm not doing like endless videos of a whole bunch of different things. So um, I'm getting very rambly. I apologize. I'm excited to talk to you guys again. What I'm trying to say is that was really fun. Let's do it again. So what these videos will help me do is look for those kinds of things. Things that I haven't thought about playing or things that I've been like, yeah, I want to try Sims free play, but where would it fit? Yeah, I want to try Happy Home Designer, but where would it fit? And maybe we'll just have like one day a week where I'll give myself a break from the usual stuff and just play something fresh. And then we can shelve it and come back to it later if we decide, hey, that was really cool. Let's do more. Or maybe it could just be a fun bouncing around of related app games. Like maybe we could play a bunch of Flash or app games that have to do with Christmas. Who knows? Maybe we could even just make like a temporary Sims family, like make Santa and Mrs. Claus. And they could try to have like a bunch of reindeer uh, for horses to take care of and they could make toys because there's a toy making machine in Sims 3. The possibilities are really endless so we might look into that kind of like random day maybe on Friday maybe on Saturday once a week in the future probably easier things than setting up like a whole Santa Claus series of some sort um, just because it's fun to kind of add in that little dash of randomness and it's really helpful for me to stay charged on a creative level when I can just try random things so that may be coming up and as all Always, that's what these videos are for to hear your guys thoughts on those things so vlogs for sure I really miss having vlogs I actually I'm using my phone right now to record and I would really like to invest in a better vlog camera so that may be my future birthday present by March to myself so look into that so then maybe you can actually see things a little bit better see my bird was better and I can zoom in you guys it was so frustrating there was a hawk in the tree sitting in the snow and it was so pretty it was this gorgeous hawk it had a beautiful white chest with brown spots all down it it had beautiful brown back and it was sitting in the distance in our little ravine behind our house on a tree with the snow falling down around it and it was so pretty and I wanted so badly to share that with you guys and to show it to you and guess what when you just have your little phone even though it's a really good camera I can't zoom in on a hawk that's like 80 feet away and have it look anything more than a pixelated blob so that was one of those moments when I went man I've got to really do this I've got to really save up and and try to work on getting a better camera so I can share those moments with you guys so that's one of my big goals <laughs> <laughs> is to try to do that and I've been talking about that for years but I'm really gonna stick to it and hopefully do it this time all right so I'm I'm really excited and happy and just wanted to talk with you guys again for a really quick update vlog um and what are some more of the constant questions I've been seeing so yeah Q&A video it'll be coming up pretty soon if you guys have any questions you'd like to ask be sure to go ask them in that video because I'll be going through the hundreds of comments to kind of pull out some of the things to answer um I am trying to get a lot of the series that have sort of gone stagnant back up zoo crafting wolf quest uh it's December litter that we are going to have the traditional Christmas litter uh, and you know just Sims in general um, the 101 Dalmatians challenge two side series are going to run for at least one arc we're gonna have our Lunar Lakes adventure I finally bought Lunar Lakes so I was so excited I have never played in it before it has these little crystal trees that I hear crash everything but hopefully it'll live for just like 12 episodes and we can cross our fingers on that and we're also going to have like a city a new city let's play for 101 Dalmatians challenge where Meredith kind of kidnaps her baby brother and goes away with vinegar probably the little chihuahua to the big city to try to become a famous celebrity because I've never really played with the celebrity system and I think that would be very interesting so we're going to be having that kind of like little side series going along and then going back into the main 101 Dalmatians challenge in the future the unicorn challenge is probably going to run maybe indefinitely at this point so there's as you can see I'm juggling a lot of balls in the air but we'll figure it out so don't worry about that part I I can't promise I'll have a bazillion videos up every day but I'll just do what I can and I hope you guys enjoy the adventure of what goes up um 
let me think. And there was something else pretty important that I wanted to share with you guys, but I think it's related to a big surprise. So I'll kind of, I'll just stay quiet on any, any rambling, muttering about that for now. But thank you guys. We are at 100,000, over 100,000 subscribers now, which means our community has really grown and it's been a rush. It was kind of like a sprint to get to the end, uh, the end, AKA that like milestone goal. And no, in case you guys are wondering, I haven't seen the notification pop up inside of my dashboard yet. After you reach that goal, what happens is YouTube will kind of go through and they'll review everything about your channel to make sure that you're pretty legit and that they would like to award you the plaque. And after they review it, which takes about a month to go through the review process, then you'll have a little notification pop pop up and it'll give you a little code that you put in and you put in the little code and another month after you put in the code you get your little plaque so see where that poster is right up there on my wall that's where I would like to put the plaque when we do get it um and it would mean a lot to me because I sort of stepped out of my university years um finishing up properly my biology nursing anthropology degrees um and I stepped out of that because YouTube became such an important opportunity for me and it kind of has given me what I wanted from those degrees is the ability to really teach as many people as possible to really share with as many people as possible my passion for the natural world my love of nature my love of the beauty of biology and ecology and just the ridiculous amazing things about about life out there about the way life works about the way it all connects together and i have such a powerful opportunity with that here with over a hundred thousand amazing people and it was a bit of a sprint to get to that point and i really was running and running and running and and let the force of my excitement and personality kind of carry us over that goal and now that we're here i am so blown away and humbled and like i'm gonna cry if i think about it oh why do i always cry on these update vlogs it's so silly but I am blown away and humbled and also finally feeling like I can kind of catch my breath. So that's part of why like I think videos have been a little bit all over the place is I'm sort of like, whoa, like when you sprinted across the finish line and you just needed to catch your breath for a minute. So I've been catching my breath and recovering from cold. I guess that's kind of, uh, all right, literally catching my breath because I was miserably sick for the first week after we got home. I actually didn't get out of bed for like two or three days. <laughs> So I'm pretty sure Chips would have like sat on me if I tried to come up here and record then, which is good on him. My workaholic brain is a dangerous thing. It can take over. It's like mind control. Uh, it's like being a workaholic zombie, which I wouldn't be surprised if they tried to slip that into our water. I mean, think about it. It would be perfect. Create a whole little like corporate corporation of workaholic zombies who just work because they love to. Ooh. Oh, oh, all right. Anyway, I'm being silly. I'm being silly. But basically, that's a lot of people and I'm catching my breath and I'm looking around and I'm going, oh yeah, I love plants. Oh yeah, I love I love science. I love learning about what humpback whales eat. I love learning about how flying squirrels can, can fly. I love sharing all of this amazing information about how animals function and how animals live with everybody. And I love what we're doing. I'm having a lot of fun with our games and a lot of fun with telling our adventures, but I really am going to be trying to sort of take a deep breath and stepping back into my role as an educator a little bit more too. It's been really awesome to do all of the games and to kind of get us up over the, the big milestone, but I really, really hope to step back into that role of teaching you guys, if you're willing to listen, uh, what I love and what I'm learning about the natural world. And I think that's really important. There's some important news going on right now about what is happening in the natural world. And I feel like sharing that as gently as I can with you guys, uh, as excitedly as I can with you guys, which may not always be gentle because I get so excited and passionate about these things, is really the most important part of all of this. That is the core mission of why I started this. At first it was just for fun and that's kind of what started started it. I had to share my sim stories and then it turned into because the opportunity to do good in this world is so magnified when I have the opportunity to speak to you guys. And I am constantly and consistently trying to shape myself into the kind of person who's worthy of your guys' time and attention that way. And I honestly believe the most precious thing we ever have to give anyone is our time. And I want to be worthy of that for you guys. And not just in an entertaining way, but also in a way where I can try to bring some of the beauty of the world, the knowledge of what's out there and how it works, 
to you guys in a way that's fun, in a way that's full of adventure, in a way that can hit you on the emotional spot it should. It's really awesome to hear animal facts and to just kind of recite them like you do facts that you learn from school or like when you're just supposed to repeat things. But what I really hope is that I can train myself, I can sculpt myself, I can work hard enough with myself that the day can come when I can get in front of all of you guys like this, hopefully with a really awesome camera so I can present as high quality as possible in all sorts of directions and all sorts of ways, the actual animals or the actual facts to you guys. And I can get in front of you and be like, hey, did you guys know, <laughs> um, what's a good fact? <laughs> Quick, think, think on your feet, Siri, think on your feet. That there's like three species of squirrel here in my backyard. There's the black squirrel, fox squirrel, and red squirrel. And they have these kinds of differences. And you should see the little tiny red squirrel, the smallest of them, chase around the fox squirrel and they go up the tree and he yells at them. I wanna be able to really share the passion of those facts with you, not just the contents of them. So that's my underlying goal and my mission and the thing that I'm thinking about now that I'm catching my breath after reaching the 100,000 subscriber mark. And hopefully I can talk more about that with you guys, probably a lot over on the vlog channel because I tend to ramble and just think out loud and you guys and your feedback helps me really kind of process what I'm saying a lot. YouTubing is a, a like relationship and the vlog channel really helps me with that. So keep an eye out for, for vlogs over there and also just fun ones. Just fun ones as I try out some new vegan recipes that Chips and I are cooking or maybe just update you guys on what's going on with the squeaky cranky flock back there. What are you guys doing, huh? They're muttering about their Zupreme, I think, which is one of the foods they have to eat. I think it's down to just the red pellets and they get really fussy. They, they, the Zupreme, it's, Anyway, I'll tell you guys about that later. The Zupreme basically is the same flavor no matter what color it is, but different bird species prefer different colors, and mine hate the red, so they'll throw it out, and they'll only eat the green, the yellow, and the orange. So I think they're out of green, yellow, and orange, and they're yelling at me about it. But I'll take care of them. And I just wanted to kind of wrap up today, kind of just letting you guys know what's been going on, what's been happening, that I've mostly been sick, and how... I'm catching my breath and just thinking about that contrast of, man, it's been awesome to focus on like game, 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 games, but I really miss our specimen Saturdays. I really miss our expedition Sundays. I really miss being able to present more facts to you guys. And with the rumored changes in how YouTube works, I'm gonna have to work harder than ever to balance out bringing daily stuff to you and, and the entertainment and then also being able to work hard enough that there'll be the time and there'll be a little bit of breathing room to be able to bring the passionate facts to you guys too. So that's my goal. All right, and I kind of wanted to wrap up other than opening the floor to any questions you may have uh, to a couple fun little things that came in the mail. So snail mail will be coming back. I was just, like I said, miserably sick, <laughs> miserably sick from the cold that I picked up. I'm, I'm, I made it, it's probably just like a tiny little cold and with my little itty bitty broken immune system, it turned into something else. But it's really fun to be like, oh, I could have gotten the cold from like the far reaches of the world because that was a big airport and who knows where everybody came from and maybe that cold was originally on a fruit cellar on the other side of the planet so you know got to keep your imagination going when things suck like when you're stuck in bed super sick and I have gotten so many packages and so many letters in snail mail I will be trying to do a whole bunch of snail mails pretty soon. That's kind of a fun way to celebrate December too, isn't it? Opening up a bunch of the letters and the special things from you guys to share your guys' passion from our adventures with everyone. And I really love that too. And I thought I would go ahead and open just a few of them to sort of show you guys the stuff that's been waiting and to say thank you to the people who have sent them to me. And one of the very first ones I wanted to show you guys is actually a very special one because it is from my niece. It is from my beloved niece and she sent me a, a little card. So she sent me some fan art, you guys. And it's fan art of Neva. Look at that. My little Eden. Eden is her name, my little niece's name. That's why we have the Garden of Eden Zoo Crafting. It's named after her, actually. So every time I would say it, she'd be really excited. And then we've got a little Neva fan art. Isn't that so awesome? I think, yeah, and she made more of it on the inside, you see? Oh, da 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 da. So that was really cute. <laughs> But I got that from my niece, so I wanted to show off that fan art. And then there were a couple big packages that came in, so I feel like I need to open these up because I'm super curious about what's inside, and that would be a fun way to end a new update vlog. So let me go ahead and open this one. 
This one just says two Siri. It's from Australia. I think they're both from Australia. So I wonder if they're from the same person actually. I don't think so. And it says permission to read on camera. So I'm gonna open this one up first. It's about this size. And oh my gosh, what is in here? <laughs> Hang on just a second. What? Oh my gosh, there's, okay, I'm gonna try taking the letter out first, actually. There's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of, oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. What do we have here? Swift Stream. Okay, here we go. Hi Siri, this is my first time writing to you. I'm Crazy Cat, who suggested the Sickness Hawk Claw uh, for my favorite series, Warrior Cats. I have a three-year-old Labrador and she's still crazy when she wags her tail. Her whole body moves. I have a little Jack Russell Terrier and six chickens. I love chickens. Called Bobby Ring. Specs Goldie is land uh, is a land golden feather and golden feather who's really feisty. I recently got Star Stable and my parents want to know if becoming a star rider is safe. In my opinion, it is. They are a professional company. Um, I signed up as a lifetime star rider a while ago as a present to myself, and I haven't regretted it. They work really hard, and the recent updates on like my stable and everything have been amazing. Let's see. And I've never, never had financial issues with using my card on there, uh, which is a good thing. When I'm older, I want to become a zookeeper and or a wolf conservationist in Canada. That's really interesting. I'm really curious, crazy cat, what kind of plans you have for moving from Australia to Canada and how you become passionate about wolves in Canada, where I'm pretty sure there's only dingoes, which are an invasive species. So I really would love to know, what does it take to be a wolf lover in Australia? Where, and I think I said in Canada, there's definitely wolves in Canada. I mean, if you're in Australia, then how do you become a wolf lover? That's really interesting to me. I would love to know. I would love to know. All right, let's see. I go riding every Thursday except for the holidays and I ride a pony called Cindy who's a beautiful chestnut with a white heart on her forehead. I'm from England. Oh, there we go. But now I live in Australia. In England, I had seven horses. Oh my gosh, you have been surrounded by animals, my friend. This is amazing. This is what I mean, being able to really share that kind of passion with you guys. Uh, and one was a foal. So cute. I wanted to write to you since I found out about snail mail. Also, I first found your channel when I was looking for a Warrior Cats cat series to watch. Yay, Warrior Cats! I'm so glad it's brought so many of us together. Oh my goodness. When I found the first episode of your Warrior Cats, I nearly screamed. Now I'll stop blabbering on. I hope you enjoyed what I sent you from Crazy Cat. Thank you, Crazy Cat! Oh, this is so fun! It's Henry! Henry the snail, or the slug, you guys! Do you remember Henry? Oh, that was from Hide and Go Snail way back in our first zoo craftings. Oh, Siri, red panda. Oh, it's a red panda for chips! Look at that! Oh my gosh! And it's blueberry. Oh, my beloved blueberry. Lily and Rose Stone. I miss blueberry. She was such a sweet finch. I'm, I'm thinking about getting some more, but I mean, they're kind of working on trying to make me more at the moment. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. And then we have a description of the Warrior Cats original cat. In season two, I am going to try to come up with ways where you guys can like have your OCs put into the series somehow. Uh, but there'll be a lot of caveats on that. All right, and then we've got some items in here too. Thank you, Crazy Cat. Let me go ahead and gently take some of these things out so I make sure I get everything. All right, and then we've got tiny slash tag, hashtags tiny lions you guys tiny lions i need to do more vlogs there too that's what i mean just feeling like getting my feet back under myself and figuring out where we're going from here is remembering the things that not only were like super popular with you guys like ultimate bird but also really brought that authentic sense of happiness which is why i'm doing this rambling update vlog <laughs> to you guys so we have tiny lions which was the vlog series for going to the tiny lions cat cafe here in ann arbor and what that is is a place where you can go and interact with a bunch of rescue cats all the cats available at that cat cafe are rescue cats and we have several episodes of just going and wandering around and playing with them and i definitely hope to make some more soon uh which means i have to go and pet some kitties oh no but definitely not well it's like a foot of snow outside <laughs> so it might be a little while then we have wild oak so i know who uh i know what uh crazy cat ships and then we've got a really cute little flower pen look at that oh my gosh that's adorable oh <gasps> you really wind it up oh that's so cute i'm gonna have to figure out how to make it work thank you that's really adorable and then we've got ooh, this is pretty 
This is actually, this is perfect. I can put it on my luggage. This is one of the little luggage tags. Very lovely. I like the little pattern on the side. That's pretty. Thank you, crazy cat. And then whatever makes you happy, just do that. That's really awesome. That's what I gotta remember all the time. That's what I really have to remember all the time and to share with you guys. And what I try to share with you guys in Meadow too. Whatever makes you happy, just do that. That's gonna inspire a Meadow episode. I can feel it, I can feel it coming. And then there's one more package I wanted to share with you guys. And this is actually, as soon as I saw the handwriting, I recognized this person. This is another package from Australia, actually. And this is from the same amazing person who made our wolf. We have a custom made wolf for Wolf Quest who is actually sitting right over on my shelf over there. And she is a wonderful artist who hand makes plushies. I'm really excited because I'm pretty sure this is from her again. And then, oh, okay, I peeked, I peeked and saw just a tiny little paw. I saw a little paw hiding in there. So let me go ahead and read this really quickly. Uh, just to make sure that this is, okay, good. I wanna make sure this is okay to read out loud. Sometimes when I, oh, there's even drawings. Okay, dear Siri, good day once again from Australia. I'm so glad you liked your little wolf. The pleasure was all mine to make it for you. I do apologize that my first letter was not the best one I've ever written. I have never tried to write a good letter with a headache. I totally understand. It's rather a coincidence that you started playing Ultimate Fox as soon as I sent you the last, uh, the latest in my wild canine project. I have named him Shippo. I love all things canine, from wolves, foxes, jackals, coyotes, painted dogs, bush dogs, and tanukis, and of course, domestic dogs. My favorite hobby is showing my dogs at dog shows. I also love horses, cats, and guinea pigs, and respect all animals. I have included some drawings and profiles of two wolves that can be used for in the future. I do miss Wolf Quest, but I understand you need to take a break, so I look forward to its return. See, and I, I'm... This, you guys are just so happy and so excited with Wolf Quest. I can't wait to bring it back too. Let's see. Uh, da -da -da -da. Uh, I do hope you will finish up with Spirit and his pups and have uh, and we'll have more single parent wolves as it adds an interesting concept to the game. I definitely think we're going to be doing more of that in the future too. And then let's see. Da -da -da. Ultimate Fox and Neva are interesting, and I saw trailers for two new games, Lost Ember and The Last Guardian, that look so beautiful, and maybe something to think about for the game list next year. I have included website addresses for wolf colors. I know the Wolf Quest fan loves white wolves, but wait until you see blonde wolves. Ooh, I've seen some of them before, and they are gorgeous. Anyway, enjoy your Christmas and your holiday and take care of yourself. I hope you like your new plushie, and keep up the good work. You're doing a wonderful job. Oh, Carrie, thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, and I will. I will definitely. Uh, I will definitely acknowledge the bottom. I think it's okay if I show the pictures. So I'm just gonna show the pictures. There we go. Oh, you guys are some of the most talented artists. What I really would love to do, and look at this one. What I would really love to do one day, especially once I have the right equipment, because there's there's a certain level of respect that you give your projects when you have the right sort of equipment. Uh, and once I have the right equipment, I really want to be able to go to some of the wolf sanctuaries, maybe even go to Yellowstone, be able to talk with people there. Um, and especially because our channel has grown so big, I think I would be able to go and explain to them, look guys, we have this opportunity to speak to over 100,000 amazing minds who really love these things. And I'm really hoping that will give me the ability to have some really great authentic talks with biologists and with conservationists who work sanctuary nearby I'm very excited about that too so anyway thank you so much Carrie and I'm I feel so much fur oh my gosh I'm pretty excited about this you guys ready okay gentle 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 oh my gosh oh my gosh look we just added a box to the family too oh my goodness oh my goodness look at him Look at those eyes, you guys! Look! Look at the tail! Carrie! <laughs> and his little paws and everything. Carrie, this is wonderful. Thank you! And he had a name. Shippo, I think, was his name, yeah? Oh my gosh, and that's going to be perfect because if you guys know Shippo from another series that I really love, after all, I did name our ultimate wolf Kilala, yeah? Oh my gosh. Yep little Shippo. So this is Shippo, you guys, and he has now become a new member of my family. I will have to go and put him with the beautiful wolf that we have, and he has arrived on a gorgeous snowy day. So what a story. 
What a fun story. Oh, his eyes are so pretty. They're actually glittery. Can you see that? That's gorgeous. And this, this once again reminds me what our community is really about. It's about so many different levels of talent and passion, excitement, happiness, joy. And I truly believe that those are the emotions that you can use to change everything in the world, to change your life, to change your sphere of influence, and to just watch so much positivity and good things grow. And sometimes I get really tired trying to keep up with our schedule. And sometimes I forget to slow down and to remember all of the people behind everything, behind all of it. And that's why I love these update vlogs and why snail mail means so much to me and why I take out some of our, our old snail mail and why I will like go through it from time to time and why I want to start the vlogs again. We've made it to 100,000 community members, you guys. And that was really fun and a rush and a milestone to hit. But in the end, I really don't want to forget the deeper thing I hope to accomplish that doesn't have anything to do with numbers and has everything to do with figuring out <laughs> with no guidelines and no idea of where to go, no, no path, no map, how to constantly push myself and shape myself and sculpt myself into the kind of person who can at least give you a little bit of energy for the passions that you have in your life, whatever they are. If they're good, they don't hurt anybody, they don't hurt yourself. If they just let you savor the world a little bit more and find a little bit more joy in this world, that's what I want to nurture. And sometimes that's found in the most unexpected places like Wolf Quest. I never, ever, ever dreamed that it would bring people like Carrie and so many of our other family members, uh, like I'm thinking about my, my wolf, and so many of our other community members into our our world. I never dreamed Wolf Quest would do that. I never dreamed Ultimate Fox would take so much passion and, and give it to so many people. I never dreamed that Ultimate Bird would be as popular as it is. And the thing that I think a lot of people forget when they talk about things like that, when they say is popular, a lot of people like it, it has a lot of views. Um, I think what a lot of people forget is for it to have that ability, for it to have those views and that popularity, means that there are people who are really, they have a, a little sliver of passion for that thing. They have a little sliver of excitement. And what I really want to do is no matter what adventures we're going on, no matter what we're doing, is to be able to nurture that and then to also offer up my excitement, my really deep authentic excitement about exploring the world and life. And it may not always be perfect and it's going to be silly rambling vlogs like this, but that's the connection I never want to lose, no matter what we do or where we go or what happens. And your guys' comments, your guys' snail mail, your guys' authenticity of your joy that you share with me. So unscripted and, and just you. And that's the best thing. That's the best feeling. That's that's the most powerful force in my life and thank you guys thank you thank you not only for the things not not only for for the number of people out there but just thank you for that because it, it feels like the most amazing discovery i've ever made to be able to just understand to reach out to be part of that much excitement for that many people um and to, and to know it all comes from a good place so ah now i'm really rambling and I don't know if I said what I wanted to again, but I just am excited to be back. And I'm excited to be catching my breath after our big milestone. And I'm excited to be tackling some more of our adventures and remembering the passion and the excitement you guys have for everything behind the numbers. And that's very important to me and I don't ever want to lose that. So thank you for helping me have these, these pieces, these physical pieces that I put around, as you can see, I put around me so that whenever you risk getting caught up in the, the, the frantic pace of it, the way that to survive, you have to go faster and faster and make more and more. I hope that being able to look up and see all of these things will always help me remember the people behind all of it. And that's all I have to say for now, I think before I really just, that's something I talk about and think about all day long with the people around me. And I won't inflict you guys on more rambling. How did this get to be 40 minutes? It was only going to be like 15. But thank you. Thank you. And I will see you guys next time.